Alright, so now we're done with the out of the box experience. Let's take a look at the body of Maniac 7. So, here's the front. You have a pretty beefy grip here. It actually feels and smells like real leather, so it might just be real leather. This is uh, the IR sensor for remote, function button, shutter button, on off switch, uh, AF assist. So, lens cap, lens release. On the side, these are the uh, ports. So, on the top, you have HDMI and USB. This lid opens on a hinge, unlike the other models. So, a little fancier. Um, once again, HDMI, USB. On the bottom, you have a mic input. So, this is new on NEX. The back is the 3 inch uh, LCD display. So this is tiltable. What you do is go this way and it comes right up. So you can tilt as much as 90 degrees to the body um, this way. So this is nice for street photography. Don't you look like a perp? And go the other way. This is for above the head shooting over a crowd. So, pretty useful in my experience. This is the uh, much talked about UVF. It's pretty nice, same as the one on the A65 and A77. It's a diopter control. Uh, flash, so this is uh, purely mechanical, so there's no battery in here right now, but I can still open it. So, this pops up the flash. This flash is uh, the first included flash on NEX. And the next, uh, nice thing about this is you can tilt it back and do bounce flash off of the ceiling, which you can do with the AX 3 or 5 with a little bit of do-it-yourself fix, but this one you can do it uh, right away like this. So this one comes back in here. These two dials are part of the Trinavi system, and uh, they rotate pretty smoothly. There's a bit of a notch, so each notch is about this much. So I'm moving in steps along the wheel. Same as this one. They both feel um, identical, so you just have to remember which one is where when you're on the camera. Playback button. Um, autofocus, manual focus switch or auto exposure lock by pressing this button. This function can change in the menu. Over here is part of the beefy grip. That's leather. This is a video record. Um, if you're holding the camera like this, your knuckle over here can mistakenly press this button a lot when you're trying to hold it. So this is a, uh, I guess, slight design problem of the NEX7, also the NEX5 series from my experience. These are the soft buttons, so is the middle one. Display, uh, timer, continuous shooting, and uh, uh, let me see, this is exposure compensation and for zooming out when you're doing playback. The top, in the X7, written in a very industrial manner. Um, the sensor plane this is a hot shoe, so you can attach standard flash to this, in addition to the built-in flash. And uh, the flash beside it, the built-in one we've talked about, I'll put this one back later. So, these two dials we've also talked about. This is the shutter button, as we mentioned. Um, yep, that's pretty much it, very non-descriptive, because they could really be programmed to do whatever you want. Okay, so bottom, tripod, mount, axis of the lens, and uh, pretty thin if you don't include the display. And here is the battery SD card door. Seems like pretty much the same as on the NEX 3 and 5 series. This side, nothing. And that's it for the body.